everyone welcome to my channel my name is Sylvia I am a cancer survivor and thriver and here on my channel I'm gonna share my journey with you uh, we're gonna talk about cancer faith and lifestyle and in today's video I'm actually going to share what my baby eats in a day as a ninth month I'm excited to share this with you because as of right now my baby it's fully plant based just like myself so I'm excited to share new recipes with you guys I also like to believe that his meals are well balanced they have enough carbs fats and protein so I am really really excited to share this with you now before I used to eat um, after I would feed him or before or not eat at all but we've decided that it's actually better to sit together as a family at the dinner table and have uh, you know our meals together I feel like he likes that dynamic better he engages in our conversations he sees us eat so I feel like it's just a better um, outcome overall and he's more excited for his meals now I'm gonna go to the kitchen and uh, make ourselves breakfast I'm gonna start the day with yogurt he loves yogurt I'm using a plant-based yogurt uh, made out of cashews and I'm gonna pack his plate with a lot of fruit he loves fruit just like his mama I also like to mention that as of right now he's still drinking milk so we're doing four to five feedings a day and then one feeding at night one or two feedings at night it depends of how many times he wakes up every time you know he has a meal I like to finish it off with his bottle I like to give him the bottle after each meal why do I do that because I feel like he knows that by drinking the bottle his meal is complete so he's not snacking on his milk or he's not snacking on his breakfast then we sit down we have breakfast and he has his bottle the meal is complete the you know breakfast is over now I understand by reading of course and doing a lot of research I understand that it's better to finish off each meal with his milk so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast and I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna move on to lunch so I'm gonna let uh, let him sit in this little table that I love so much and we're gonna go and I'm gonna head to the kitchen to make breakfast So this is his breakfast. I did a little bit of cashew yogurt with chia seeds for protein. Then we have raspberries and kiwi and I like to cut them in small cubes. And also I like to um, give him a little bit of banana uh, for baby led winning. I'm doing a combination of baby led winning with some spoon feeding. Um, this is what works for us um, and I love it, he loves it. so. This is his breakfast and it looks delish. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna make smoothie because he loves smoothies, I love smoothies. That's gonna be my breakfast, so we're gonna share. This is his breakfast, cashew yogurt, kiwi, raspberries, um, blueberry and almond smoothie and a little bit of banana. We're gonna have breakfast now and that's it.
lunch time and for lunch I'm gonna make probably I'm gonna steam some veggies like peas, carrots, some squash, some broccoli. I love to use some uh, frozen vegetables. I feel like they're great, especially when you want to cook fresh food for each meal. I love the steamed veggies because the frozen ones, because I feel like it's so easy, they're already chopped. I put them in the pan and um, you know simmer them slowly or boil them and they're good to go. Um, also, I feel like I'm not wasting a lot of food because if I buy like a whole squash, I have to help to make a whole thing out of it. Where with you know squash, like frozen squash, it's already chopped, so I can use exactly how much I want. And so for today, I'm gonna use some squash, peas, carrots, a bit of broccoli, and for my protein, I'm gonna do a little bit of tofu. He loves tofu. And for our fat, I'm gonna use avocado because he loves avocado. So let's head into the kitchen again and cook some lunch. For lunch, I'm gonna steam some veggies. We're gonna do some peas and carrots, squash, and broccoli. I have this little pot, which is the cutest thing in the world. So I'm gonna steam some veggies in here and then I'm gonna do a little bit of avocado. That's gonna be his lunch. I'd like to pack a lot of nutrients in his lunch and a lot of greens. So yeah, let's get going. This is Alexander's lunch. I did some uh, peas, squash, carrots, along with some tofu, and then we have some broccoli there. He's gonna eat that with his hands. That's why I left it um, not mashed. That's why it's not mashed. And then for fats, we have avocado, and for dessert, we have some homemade applesauce. I love to make uh, applesauce in-house. So that's pretty much it, yes. And this is the pot. So we have some leftovers and we're probably gonna use that for dinner because I love fresh veggies for him. It's a good, it's a very consistent lunch and he, um, he's excited. You can tell, you can hear him. Dinner time, but I'm really, really excited that we got to spend some time outside. It was a beautiful day. Alexander got some vitamin D in. He loves being outside. So now I'm gonna head into the kitchen and uh, prepare dinner. I'm gonna use those uh, leftover veggies that I have from lunch and I'm gonna make some pasta. He loves pasta, we love pasta. I'm gonna make some brown rice pasta and I like to cook it a little bit more than the uh, directions on the packaging just because I like to make it a little bit softer to make it a little bit easier on his digestion. Um, I like to have a little bit of texture because like I said, we're practicing chewing, but again, have them on the softer side. So we're gonna skip dessert tonight. We're not doing fruit nor dessert. I don't like to do that for dinner. I like to incorporate as much as I can fruit throughout the day, but not later on the day. And then we're gonna finish the day off with his bottle and he's gonna go to sleep later on. So it was a good day, it was a happy day. We had a beautiful day outside, so we got to spend some time in nature. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into the kitchen now. So these are the pasta I'm using, the Jovial brand, I think they're called, they're gluten-free. Um, brown rice, they're super, super good, they're fun too. So I'm gonna boil them and I'm gonna mix in the veggies. And we have the pasta right here. I don't like them too tender. Um, so they're super, super mushy and soft, but they still have a nice texture so he can munch on them and he can chew. We're practicing chewing right now on bigger bites. So I'm gonna mix the, uh, the vegetables in. It's served. 
I'm not doing any dessert nor uh, fruit because it's late. I mean, I don't do that in the evening. So this is it. It's just veggies and uh, pasta, brown rice pasta. This is what he's having, so I hope he will enjoy it. It's a full plate. I feel like he's eating more and more each day and less milk, so that's good. So, um, yeah, let's get to dinner. This was it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed what my son eats in a day as a nine-month nine baby. It was a really, really good day. It was a productive day. It was a smooth day. So now he's down. And this is the time when I get to relax. After I clean up the toys and everything, I get to sit down, maybe have a cup of tea, journal, pray, and then go to bed. Uh, it was a good day today. Again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe follow me on Instagram for more recipes or for more day-to-day -day lifetime stories. So um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!